unlocking the secrets of our DNA starting the day we're born. Would you want to know the health conditions that your baby could face years later? Well, Dr. Malika Marshall takes a closer look at a first-of-its-kind study right here in Boston. It's the very definition of optimism, a newborn baby. And to keep these little ones the perfect pictures of health, someday in the near future, routine newborn care could include a sci-fi screening that is slowly going mainstream. Some people have called this the book of life. For the first time ever, doctors at Brigham and Women's and Children's Hospital are sequencing the genome of newborns. This allows doctors to decode the DNA and look for the possibility of future diseases and conditions. Here we have the opportunity to learn much more about somebody's potential future and help guide their care. Right now, all newborns are screened with a blood test for dozens of medical conditions, but with genomic sequencing, doctors will check for more than 1,600. Sequencing the genome can reveal the risk of future illnesses, like Alzheimer's, heart disease, and certain cancers. It can also determine if a patient will have a positive or negative reaction to a particular medication. I think it'll help you cope with whatever it is that you're going to have to cope with anyways. It's a little scary, the thought of actually finding something out. Doctors Richard Green and Alan Beggs understand this could be a tough sell for some new parents. There's some families that don't want to know about something that they may not be able to control. The hope is to enroll 500 newborns, half healthy, half sick, in the Baby Seek Project to find out what role, if any, genomic sequencing will have on their future medical care. And the question is, how is this going to impact individuals who can have it from day one of life? Will knowing these genetic codes lead to superior medical care, or will it raise privacy issues and the possibility of genetic discrimination? The research team will follow these newborns for five years or longer to see how they do. It might help, it might confuse things, it might be totally irrelevant, but it's trying to anticipate What's the world's going to be like when you actually have genomic information available for all of us? Only time will tell. Dr. Malika Marshall, WBZ News.